closing time. I know who I What up car people, Ariel is back. I wanted to show you quickly the difference between a Broadway mirror convex versus flat. Yay yay. I really like the look of the Broadway mirrors. I feel like it, it brings me back to Gran Turismo where when you went for the view of in car, which wasn't really in car, it was just kind of like the road, but you got your meters and you have a rear view mirror and it was this, this really wide rectangle. So I guess the inspiration for that rectangle was the Broadway mirror or perhaps the inspiration for the Broadway mirror was the very minimalist rectangular uh, mirrors on race cars. But in any case, I have two Broadway mirrors of the same size. Why two of the same size? Well, this one right here has a convex lens. As you can see, there's a bit of a curve to this mirror, which gives it that kind of funhouse effect. It shows you more than most mirrors would because of the curve. This mirror right here is a flat mirror, which is what comes standard with most all vehicles. This is what your rear view would be, your side mirrors. But if you have something like APR mirrors, then you have a convex lens. That's how they're able to make the housing much smaller, but still give you a little bit more visibility or at least come close to what you had stock. I've been rocking the convex for some time but I think it's time to switch things up and do a little comparison and try out the flat. I think the flat paired with convex on the sides is uh, probably the best way to go. But we'll see and I'll put it to the test. You can kind of get an idea. You can get an idea of the difference just by seeing them stacked on top of each other. So the, the flat lens will make you look larger while the curved lens makes you look smaller and that's why the writing here objects and mirror are closer than they appear that means you have a convex lens and they're just warning you just use your judgment i'm gonna throw one of these in the evo and i'm gonna get the hell out of here